Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Minex Farm Regen plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to create areas which will regen in a certain amount of time after a player breaks a block. So not only does this work with ores, but it also works with crops as well, which is very handy and it has protections to make sure players cannot destroy the crops beneath. So I've got a couple of examples here and then we'll go ahead and make some of our own. So it works in creative as well as survival, so if I were to smash these diamonds, you can see it will turn to bedrock temporarily. So if I just make a nice little square here and give it a few seconds, they should all turn back to diamonds shortly after. Now, for your server, you probably want to increase the time to make sure players aren't just getting diamonds constantly and you can find the sweet spot. So you can see now they're all going back to their original diamond ore form. So that's how it would work for diamonds. And then over here we have crops. Now if I go ahead and smash these, you can see none of them are actually breaking. Now the reason for that is because they are not fully grown. So now if I were to smash them after using bone mill, all of them are going to break. And then I can even jump on the soil and it's not going to ruin it. Same thing for the wheat over here, none of this is fully grown, so a little bit of bone mill and it will allow me to break them. Now you can see there's no crop there at the moment, however if we give it another few seconds you can see all the crops reappear magically and suddenly we are back to business and we have to let them grow again. So those are two quick examples of how the plugin works. Let's show you how to create it. So the first thing we want to do is the regen help. And then here are all the commands. The first thing we want to do is the regen wand. So similar to world edit, we are going to get a wand and it's actually a stone axe this time. And what we want to do is select an area. So there's two ways to do this. So the first way is obviously using the axe. So I'm just gonna select the entire cuboid. And then once we've done that, we can do the regen create command, and this is going to be number three. So you just keep numbering them depending on obviously how many you have. And then it's as simple as that. So once we start breaking these items, even the stone, because that's included in the area, they will turn to bedrock and then they will eventually turn back to their original block. We can do the same thing for the plants over here. So if I were to till the area and just put some plants down, so let's do carrots this side. And then the second method is actually using uh, position commands. So if we do forward slash regen pos one, that's at the first one. And then I'm gonna go over to the other corner and stand here and do pos two. And that has selected this area without using the ax. And then we can do regen create, and this is gonna be number four. And then once again, we can use bone mill on all of these plants and then break them. And as you can see, I can't break anything else, uh, which prevents any griefing or stuff like that. Now, there's another useful command, which is the regen GY command. And in here, we can have a look at a few things. So you can reload the plugin if you made any changes. You can get the wand via uh, the GY as well, which is handy. And then you can actually disable uh, regen. So for whatever reason, if uh, you want to edit an area or you don't want to use it, you can turn it off so that it won't just keep working, which is very handy. And then over here we can create regions or we can delete regions and it's going to list all the ones over here. So here we are on the SMP control panel. You can see there are two YML files, regions that just stores your data, don't touch that. Then we have the config.yml, which you can change. So in here we've got permission nodes to give to your players and admin staff. And then we've got the toggle features, whether you want to turn that on or off by default. And then this is where you want to edit all of your blocks. So we've got a variety of things here, mostly ores and wood. And there's a couple of other items and here are the four crops. Obviously you can remove and add items if you want. But what you can do is change the amount of XP, you can change the delay as well. So here we are on the Spigot page, you can see it's updated from 1.12 to 1.19 and we've got all the information here that you can look at and it's overall a fantastic plugin. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me, subscribe, like, comment and I'll see you next time.